Hello. Morning. Good morning. <coughs> Do you know what? What? We haven't got a topic today. Why have you not got a topic? Why have I? Because you rely on me to do it. Oh well, yeah, totally. Uh, are you not my... Well, I said to... Watch you... what you say here. I said to you this morning, what should we talk about today? I put the onus on you this morning. Uh, so, over to you. So you're passing the blame onto me? Pretty much. That's yeah. what you're doing? Pretty much. What happened to the own... Oh, like, ownability. Own, own, ownability, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't exist, that's that a, word. That's a great word. <laughs> ownability. Come on, let's get that one. In the uh, dictionary. Do you know Maybe the that's the topic, ownability. Ownability, I like it a lot. I like it what a lot. does ownability mean? Ownability means that you take ownership, you take responsibility, and and you're accountable. Okay. It's a mixture of all of them. Ownability is really good. You know they took gullible out of the dictionary? Shut up. Idiot. I said that to my mum and she was like, up there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, so we've not really got a topic, but the fact is that we kind of have, well, I have, because we can talk about all sorts of different things, and I think that we've covered lots and lots and lots of different things in these videos, and so sometimes you might find that some of the stuff we discuss is a little bit repeated, but it always has different value points to it as well, and I think that we've talked about the fact that you need to have this kind of mentality that when it just because it's the weekend or it's friday or it's the, it's it's half past 11 on the friday and it's like yeah it's nearly time to finish what you need to be, be doing is making sure and double checking against your your goals your lists your lifestyle that you want to lead have you achieved everything that you need to need, need to achieve and, and and there's lots of lots of different situations that you find yourself in you know weekends are absolute golden absolute golden so the topic really is took me two minutes to get to this topic but the two minutes because <laughs> i've been thinking of it as i've been talking because i can do that I, i'm a man but i can still multitask get it yes i could be really rude and such my house there but i'm not going to do that um, can you it, tell me when it's finished I, I, well, yeah, so yeah, I need yeah. to know now okay yeah it's cool um, so the topic i forgot what it is now you see because you remember forgot now the topic I is weekends are golden that is the topic weekends Weekends are golden, not silent, no. We, well, they're silent for a lot of people, to be honest with you, because they don't do <laughs> fucking shit at all. Language. Language. Houses. I don't know what you're um, <laughs> But they are silent for a lot of people. But, do you know, your weekends are absolutely golden. And, and I've said this many times, and I'll keep on saying this, is that, do you know, that nine to five, Monday to Friday, that gig's done. Do you know, if you're living by them rules, do you know, most people... And I don't know what percentage it is, but I'd, I'd, I'm going to take a guess at somewhere. Well, what, what's 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 the what's that saying now? That is it something like two percent of the people and ninety eight percent of the world world something wealth, like that, something yeah. ridiculous like that. So that's saying to me that ninety eight percent of people are dreaming of this fantastic lifestyle whether it's millions of pounds whether it's the cars the high the house the holidays the lifestyle whatever it is but they're trying to get there on a minimum wage work ethic yeah so oh it's not within my salary to do that or oh, i don't get paid enough no the, the effort that they're put they're applying to the tasks and the things that they do is nothing more than minimum wage ethics do you know it's that the the, the work is if they as if they're a, 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 a minimum wage or a living wage kind of person. Do you know, forget about salaries, forget about wages. I heard it on the news yesterday, I think it was a doctor who was speaking, because they were like, N no, NHS is crumbling, it's it's failing massively. It needs privatisation, remember I told you that first. I think people have been saying it for a long time. Yeah, so. I know, <laughs> I know, but coined by John. There yeah, we go. But, do you know, and there were doctors saying, no, oh, well, we're working hard already, Make, giving us, like, different salaries and hours and stuff. Do you know what? You got into that sector. You decided you wanted to be a doctor, do whatever it needs to be a doctor. Oh, seven days a week. Yeah, yeah nine to five's done, mate. No, Monday to Friday, I don't happen no more. No, look at split shifts, look at workers, look at look at car salespeople. Do you know, they work weekends, they might get one Saturday off in a month or something ridiculous. And they're selling cars. You know, you're saving lives. You need to be there. Deal with it or, or do you know, get out of that sector. 
And this is the thing when it comes to weekends, people's just not prepared to do what it takes and work the weekend. They get to Friday, it's like, yay, weekend time, Friday, woo. That's shit, bullshit. Language. Bullshit. Do you know, get off your arse, get something done. If you've not had a massive week, you better be sure that you need to work that weekend to make it massive. Yeah, definitely. You know what I don't understand? Just going back to doctors then, and this is just a... Throw it, throw it in their comment. Majority of doctors work seven days a week. So if you don't want to work seven days a week, why do you want to become a doctor? I don't get it. Change your job, mate. Because if, if he was complaining about working seven days a week, I really don't get that. No. What don't you get? Well, it's kind of okay. and, no, and that's the thing, do you know, if you are not prepared to do whatever it takes in your career to help people, because why have you got into that sector? You know, you come into, you, why, why do you want to be a doctor firstly? Do you know, if you're going to be a doctor, why? Is it because you think that you're going to earn a ridiculous salary out of it? Is it because you genuinely want to help people? Because if it's if, because if it's that you if you're wanting to be a doctor because you genuinely want to help people, mate, then you better get working seven days a week, fifteen hour days. Joe, you know? that's the only way you can help people. Isn't it? Help people, help people. If that's the reason you wanted to be a doctor, you can work fifteen hour days. You know, there's twenty four hours in a day. How much rest do you bloody need? <laughs> How much rest do you need? God, we want to sit at home with your feet up and watch Coronation Street. Dick. Oi! Do you know language how? is shocking today. Winds me up. Right. Winds me up. Change and if subject. it's and if and if that's not the reason that you want to be a doctor, because you want to help people, then then change your job. Do you know? Do whatever it is. Go and work a job that allows you to work five days a week, nine to five, and don't whinge about it and, and, and but then you'll be whinging that you don't have enough money to do what you want to do. And I, it sounds like I'm having a go at doctors, you know, doctors. I'm not saying that's everybody, you know, there's going to be some really passionate people out there, and they're to, they are going to get tired, you know, it's, it is tough, I've seen it, I've seen what's happened, my dad's just come out of the hospital, and I've seen what the doctors are facing with, so I say a lot of this with tongue in cheek, but a lot of it is, is, is factual as well, change your job if you don't want to do it, otherwise, do you know, I mean, yeah, whatever, whatever, um, you need to start doing the weekend stuff. Are you done? Yeah. Ramp mode there. Mm. It's just you see so many people moan and whine about the hours that they work, the money that they earn, whatever it is. There's people out there that's moaning and whining and whinging. Change it. Do you know that's the point I'm getting to here is change it. If you're not happy in the job that you do, change it. If you're not happy with the money that you earn, change it. If you're not happy with any part of your life, change it. You know, there's no one going to come along. It's not magical. People's not going to wave a wand and say, "Oh, you've you've worked hard for the last 20 years. Here's a wand and have that wonderful lifestyle that you see on television." I think a lot of people have still got that mentality, though, haven't they? Of a time served job or a time served promotion. Well, I've been here longest. So what? Uh, Doesn't mean you've got the talents to do the job. Yeah. Or the higher job or whatever yeah, but I mean there is a lot of companies that still will will will, will kind of promote from time served which is alright you know, they've shown dedication they've shown they're committed but, but you know, why put people in that position though if they haven't got the skills to do that promotion that job you're putting them in an awkward position totally totally yeah and out of the death and they don't know yeah. what they're doing and they don't get the support being fed up and probably and leaving checking anyway yeah the thing is, do you know what the biggest problem is comes back to, right, what we talked about right at the start of this topic, is you need to be prepared to do whatever it takes to get what you want. Yeah. If that means, you know, so like you're working in a company, what's traditionally known, for example, let's say, you, let's say you're working in a company right now, you, the audience, you're working in a company that's traditionally, <laughs> that's traditionally known for recruiters, sorry, for promoting on time served basis. You can change that. You can change that. You know what I mean? You go in and you find out what you need to do to get there. If you need to go out for drinks with the managers, build a rapport with the managers, suck up to the managers, do whatever it takes. Get in early, leave late, take your work home with you, work in your own time, 
study for exams, do you know, pay for your own exams, show initiative, that shit's gonna get you noticed. That is what's gonna get you promoted over anybody else, whether they've been their time served or not. Tell people that you want it and make it happen. Can we stop now? Because you're very ranty. Final thought? <laughs> final thought. My final thought, what about your final thought? I'm going to rant it in a minute for blocking all the road off as well. Bloody taxis, that's another story. We'll get onto them another day. I think the old road. I like them on that. Um, wow. Very negative. That's not negative at all. None of this stuff I've talked about there is negative. It's factual. It's get off your arse, get something done, make it happen. So when someone else says it, it's negative, but when you say it, it's factual. I, I don't understand what you mean. If someone else was saying uh, they think they own the road, you'd say, oh, negative. Because you've said it, it's all right. Listen, what you've got to be is certain. You've got to be certain. And I'm certain in what I say, 100%. Do you know? Whether it's right or wrong is irrelevant. I'm certain. I'm committed. So you've got to be certain that you're right or wrong. And I am. Final thought, do you know? Final thought, just because it's the weekend doesn't mean that you can. You have to switch off. Do you know? Keep on going. Keep on pushing. Keep on doing what everyone else is not doing. So if your work, if, if the average, per, what's, what, what's the average hours now people work, was it? 40 hours? Yeah, like 40 hours a week. So if someone's working 40 hours a week and they get promoted from time served, you work 80 hours and you'll get there twice as quick. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Okay. Chill first. <laughs>